The legal limit for alcohol is .08, and oftentimes you may be above that without even knowing it, but you may still find yourself asking, am I okay to drive home? But with a certain machine and a few quarters, you could be making a better decision. It's a tool for me to get people not to drive. He's talking about the Breath Alcohol Tester, a retail breathalyzer designed to help you gauge how much you've had to drink. To kind of remind people, hey, you know, you had a few too many, you shouldn't get behind the wheel. The process is simple. You take your money, put it in the machine, grab a straw, and then blow in the machine for 10 seconds. The machine's going to light up, and once done, it will show you your results. Mickey's was the first and so far only bar in Fullerton to use the technology. It's been a part of the decor here since May, and they've gotten about 200 users each month. It's kind of a neat thing, you know, a bar with a breathalyzer in it. Sometimes we'll have a whole crowd of people around it and like six or seven people and we'll all take turns blowing. We wanted to find out for ourselves just how popular it really is. So we found a guinea pig. How many beers have you had to drink? I'd say 10. About 10. Do you think you're okay to drive? Um, I'm probably questionable, but I probably would. Four, three, two. However, the breath alcohol tester had a different opinion. He blew a 0.14. That's higher than I thought it was, and so that machine tells me right there that I should not drive. So who's responsible for these coin-operated machines? Common Sense Vending Supply Owner, Quarter Hudson. Just, you know, wanted to find a solution that we could use that was practical, easy, and accessible. Hudson hopes to get the machines in bars across Orange County, as well as fraternity houses. He calibrates these machines every other week. But the question on everyone's mind, how accurate are they? In the fuel cell, it actually uses a piece of platinum that uh, intercepts the alcohol molecules going through and does a count off that. Much more accurate, much more reliable. These machines are using the same technology that is found in law enforcement breathalyzers. So what does the police department think of these machines? I think we as a department are, are, are happy with anything that promotes awareness for people that are drinking and driving. However, police officers say we shouldn't rely on these tests to determine if we can drive or not. They say a good rule of thumb is when in doubt, call a cab. The cab fare will always be cheaper than a DUI charge. In Fullerton, I'm Julie Cook, Daybreak OC.